this is late for me. <laughs> Super late. So I don't know if anybody's going to come in or not. Didn't announce it. It's much later than normal. So I always get nervous that no one's going to show up. And then I'm going to have to, like, delete it. <laughs> My phone just went off. Hey, who's here? Who else here, guys? Just curious. I know it's much later than normal. I'm just wondering who else here. Hey, Beth, how are you? Who else is here? I know it's late. <laughs> hey, Cynthia, how are you? How is everybody? Good. That's good. Oh, good. It makes me happy to know you guys are doing good. So, what are you doing, Cynthia? What is going on? I'm not expecting a big crowd tonight. It's, it's like much later than I normally go on and I didn't announce it. So I don't know how many people are going to be here. Um, I'm not expecting a lot. Because it's, it's 1030 on the East Coast. <laughs> Luggage set. Oh, cool. Is it Creative Applique? Is she live right now? Wonder. Or not live, I'm sorry, is she? Um, is she the one doing it? She's. I saw a, quite a bit of her things recently and it's really, they have a lot of really cute stuff. I really like, I really like a lot of her stuff. I really, really do. You guys ready to do some, tut some tutus with me? Sally Tomato. Okay. I know who that is, too. I've never had any of her stuff, but I do know who I do know. Hey, Letitia. How are you? How is everybody? I've got a, quite a few more people here. You just want to say hello so I can see who's here? I know it's later than normal. But I can't sleep. I'm tired, but I can't sleep. And then so I, and so I thought I'd come up here and do two twos. And then I was like, why not? I just need some company. Why not go live? Oh, good, Leticia. That's awesome. So I thought, why not just go live and do it all? What do you guys think about that? Yellow tool. Y'all let me know if my machine's too loud. You know, you know how I, I don't, you know how I work. Hey, Cindy. Yeah, I'm, I'm awake. I'm not going to be falling asleep anytime soon. I just get the feeling. Is everybody else like wide awake or is it just me? Leticia, what, what kind of um, questions can I ask answer for you? Because it's kind of a broad it's kind of a, I, I don't know what kind of information you're looking for, but I'll be glad to help you. 
if you'll just let me know more specifics what you're what you're needing. Is that too loud? Is that too loud? <laughs> I don't want it to be like bursting y'all's ears. That's not an option. Let's see. Hey, Grace, what's going on? Sandy, how are you? Is that too hot? Are you guys okay with that? How are you guys? All the new people are here. Introduce yourself. I can see people. I can see how many people are here, but I can't see who is here. And I'm always curious. I don't want to leave anybody out. This tool is funky. Funky, 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 funky. So, okay, I just saw it, Leticia. I'm sorry. Um, there are, so what I did is I first went to YouTube and um, I started looking up like what kind of machine I wanted. Once I knew what kind of machine I wanted, I went to YouTube and got all the information I could off of it. Um, and that's how I learned. But I'll be glad to help. What kind of machine are you getting? Do you know yet or do you already have one? This tool is funky. <laughs> Kathleen, hey. What is the, um, I learned so much from you. Me too, Cindy, that's where I learned. And that's where I met one of my best friends. <laughs> I'm very thankful for you too. I've learned a lot from you too. I love Pam. Hey, Chris. <laughs> nice to talk to you again. Yeah, that I found Pam looking for how to hoop how to hoop. Um, she has a um, a video called How to Hoop a Onesie or something along those lines. And um, I that was the first one I watched of hers, and I was just like, wow, she's so cool. And um, I went, I just you know, we just hit it off and um and uh, now we're like super good friends. So I'm like, you're one of my best friends. She said, me too.
you guys should see this mess. Do you want to see the wrath of tutus? Do you want to see what all I've got to do? Brother PE, I had the 770, which was before the 800. That thing ate my finger. It was bad. I sold it right after that. <laughs> And then I, I got the 1600, no, I got the 2300 after the eight, the 770. And then I got the 1600 as a backup. And now I have two 10 needles, the PRX, the 1055. Yeah. I know who you're talking about. Um, he's got a ton of videos on the 770s and 800s, like a ton. Um, I can see his face, but I, I can't. I can't remember. All right, y'all are coming with me. So I just finished that one. I have that stack. That stack, and I have, I cannot reach it. Hold on. I finished all of those. So, I got a lot of them to make. I have a wholesale order I've got to get out. That's what I'm doing right now. Vince. Akiri, A C U R I, was it Vince? Is that right? Akiri, Vince? I think that's his name. I think it's Vince Akiri. I think. Okay, that's what I thought. It took a minute, but then I got it. I can't find my cell phone. Hold on one second. I have no idea, literally no idea what I did with it. Literally no clue. My stick. I'm still here. I just can't find my cell phone. I heard it going off, so I know it's up here. I don't know where it is. I don't know. All right, let me see. How many orders do you get a day? Uh, it varies. Um, right now, I'm getting a lot more on my baby shop than I am on um, my embroidery shirts. Hey, Karen. Karen with the awesome paper art that she does, that she shows on TikTok. Oh. Kathleen, your stuff is so cool looking. I love your diamond painting. Really, this is really bothering me with my cell phone. I have zero clue and when I say zero I mean zero
probably under the pile of tissues. <laughs> I look. I found it. Oh my gosh. I found it. I found it. I'm going crazy. I'm just going a little bit of crazy. That's okay. It was literally sitting right here, but it was turned upside down. So it was, it was like the dark side and um, it was on a dark piece of furniture. So that's why I didn't see it at first. All right, let me, let me sh make sure I catch up. Cheryl and Pam has the tutu videos. That That is true. She's got some amazing tutu videos. In fact, my measurements for my tutu video, for my tutus come from her, um, it, the base measurements. I've, I've tweaked them a little bit, but when I first started, that's who I got all my measurements from was um, Cheryl, uh, Cheryl and Pam. Hello. Hello, hello. If it had teeth, it would have bit me. Yeah. It would have, and it probably would have hurt. <laughs> probably would have hurt. Pretty good. Leticia, between both shops, I got seven today. But I, ooh, you guys almost went flying. But I also have a wholesale, I have several wholesalers that I sell to that then turn and sell in their stores. Um, and I've got quite a lot of that going on right now. So um, just trying to squeeze in all these tutus. All the toots. Can you guys say tutu tutorial fast? Tutu tutorial. I have a hard time saying that. Two, two, tutorial. I also have a really hard time saying certified sushi chef or even just sushi chef. I have a really hard time with that. I don't know why. I don't know why. Hey, Linda, how are you? Hey, Karen, what time is it where you are? Sherry, thank you for the help earlier, truly. <laughs> Yay, that's awesome. You did. If I wouldn't have figured it out, most of it out, you wouldn't, I would have, you would have helped me. You would have. Thursday, it's at 1247. Hi, Megan. I also did um, a thing. I cold, well, I, I don't know what you call it. Cold call. I don't know that you actually call it cold calling, but I called around to all the dance studios in town and told them that I make custom tutus. 
and a lot of them chose to see me, so that's good. Caroline's in the house. Vampire Diaries. Woo. Team Damon. Your girl right here is Team Damon. All the way. And Team Elijah. Team, yeah, Team Elijah and Team Damon. You know what I say? I say that um, Donnie Wahlberg <laughs> set me up for bad boys for life. Like, he's he was responsible for it. And I get to meet him on Sunday. I'm so excited. We ain't got my hair done. You can't tell right now because it's Number one, dirty, and number two, it's just, I went to bed on it wet, so it's not even done, but um, get to meet Donnie Wahlberg and give him hugs, what? Whew. This girl cannot wait. Hey, Janie, how are you guys? I can't wait. Pam's there tonight. Oh, thank you. It is, and I cut um, four inches off of it recently, but thank you. That's very kind of you. Terry likes it long too. So I try to grow it long and then I get really tired of it because it's so hot in Florida um, that I chop it all off and then I feel bad. So I grow it back out. Mm -hmm. 
Pam, what are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be rocking out? Or is it over? Hot queen. No, Sherry, it never even rained here. How was it? Was it was it lots of adult type stuff? <laughs> was Donnie behaving? Donnie rarely behaves, I feel. Bad boy for life. Bad boy for life. Are you riding the high, Pam? I you, when I leave concerts, I I feel like I'm just giddy. This tool is awful, you guys. Absolutely awful. It was like 98 today. It's hot. It is so hot and muggy. I could deal with either. I could deal with the heat, right? The mugginess kills me. Absolutely kills me. 13 degrees. That would kill me too. That would kill me too. I don't know. I, my sweet spot is like 55 to 70. It's like two days a year total here in Florida. And you're sure the machine's not too loud, right? You guys, tell me if it's too loud. It's blistering. It's just the humidity here is so bad. It's like you inhale the water. Like you don't have to drink so much water because it, like you inhale it from the from the air. <laughs> East Coast. That's awesome. I live in Central Florida. I literally live smack. And when I say smack, I mean like smack between Orlando and Tampa. Oh, mine too. Hey, Evelyn, what's shaking? Did I see? I know where that is. We used to go to Ormond Beach.
they actually call like the area I live in like is Orlampa, which is like Orlando, obviously Orlando and Tampa. Um, I live smack in the middle. Smack in the middle. Yeah, Sherry and I are hockey buddies. We meet up sometimes at hockey games. Sherry, I am organizing. I, well, I'm going to try to. Anyways, I haven't started it yet, obviously, because it's all the way in November. But um, um, I lost my thought. It's gone. I have no idea what I was even talking about. I know I was talking to Sherry, but I can't remember for the life of me what I was saying. I mean, that thought is just gone. Peace out. What was I saying? Does anyone remember what I was saying? I was planning something. Oh, November. I want to plan like a dinner. One of the night, whatever night you're down or you're up or over, or whatever you want to call it, up at in Orlando for so magical. I want to do a dinner. Like if Pam comes, but Jess will be here and um, Staley. And I think Leslie Ram was looking into it. And I'm pretty sure Christy Hunter Myers was looking into it. Um, but don't you think that we should all get dinner one night? <laughs> Would you be interested in that? <laughs> Me too. We'll see what we can do. Let's all let's try let's try to get together at So Magic. And we should we should probably try to get together actually at So Magical, you know, and like and experience it together. I'm down with that. Caroline, can we get together? Can I be as cool as you? I would love to meet you. And bring your husband to dinner. We'll talk hockey. This tool is so wonky. It'd be kind of cool to hit up a few booths, if not the whole day with you. That would be fun, I think. I would enjoy it. Is anybody else going to So Magical in November in Orlando? Are you sure, Sherry? I mean, I could always use tool, but are you sure? Cynthia, I buy... Okay, so here's the thing. Without without BB Crafts running a sale, like if it's just their normal pricing, Gibbs International and BB Craft even out. Gibbs International looks cheaper on paper, but they their shipping and handling is ridiculous. Whereas BB Craft is more expensive, but their shipping and handling is very reasonable. But they they tend to even out. Now, if BB Craft is having a sale, I'll buy from BB Crafts. Um, if not, I like the tool that comes from Gifts International the best because it comes on a cardboard piece, which is easier for me to store and flip when I'm when I'm you know um, measuring it out. So I tend to really like Gifts International. But in a pinch, I will use BB Crafts. I, the, the only reason why I like Gifts International is because they put cardboard in their tool bolts. It's the only reason. Hi, guys. Hi, Larice. 
Oma, that's German for grandmother, right? Let me call you Oma. Janie, it is. It's very difficult and very expensive. We do need to get that. Um, I know Jess, you guys know Jess Kabicki. Um, she's coming down for it. She's going to stay with me. And if obviously if Pam comes down, Pam's going to stay with me. Um, so we'll be, I'll be bringing every, <laughs> we bring in, we'll be all driving together. Like a caravan. Sherry, if you move here, we can have so much fun. We could carpool the games. So let me see. Oh, that's cool, Oma. I would love to get tool and ribbon from a wholesale supplier. I don't know where to look. I don't know where to start. I don't know anything about it. Like I tried to get ribbons, like animal print ribbons and cow print ribbons, like giraffe animal like cheetah giraffe cheetah and cow and it was a nightmare you should have seen oh it was awful and i got it from ally express so i i just don't even know really grace i wonder how much their tool is on ebay i can't look at it right now but I will definitely check it out when I'm off of this live. Yellow tool. I mean, ribbon. I need to look into that. Do you know how much off the top of your head? Don't don't take the time to look it up or any trouble like that. Do you know off the top of your head how much a bolt of tool is on eBay for them? If I look it up right now, you guys will go all black and I might lose you. So I can't look right now, um, but I'll look as soon as I as soon as we're done up here. I, I need to look into that because I hate raising my price. Thank you, Sherry. Um, I hate raising my prices, but I had to recently. I can't keep paying out this much money for everything and, and taking such a huge cut. Um, I, I just can't do it. You know, I love what I do, but you've got to make money. Wow, 
Wow. See, yeah. You can get you you can get it on um, BB Craft sometimes for ten dollars a bolt with like four ninety nine shipping. Um, I don't know. The only thing I know about it in November is that it's cooled off enough that I can go <laughs> without having a heat stroke. A lot of people do come in November, though. I think it's because the weather's better. Yeah, they ship super fast. And they they do, um, like when they mess up, and they, they mess up a lot more than any other vendor, I'll be honest with you. But I just send them a picture of my invoice and what all I did not get. And they always credit me. Like within three days, my, um, my credit card has been um, credited. You got to watch them, but it's where I like their, I, I just like their tool. The only reason I like their tools because it's on a bolt, it's on a cardboard bolt. It just makes it easier for me to store and easier for me to unroll. That is all. That's the only reason. When are you coming in October? Like the beginning of the month, end of the month, middle of the month. No, Janie, it's the truth. Everything is going here. A gallon of milk, $6. Six bucks. Carolina, it's still going to be a little hot. Probably, it's not going to be as muggy, but it's going to be hot around that time. Unless something really strange happens. You know, we got a cold snap when Pam was here in, in February, which is, you know, obviously easier to understand because it's February. But it was so cold. We went to Disney and um, they we were at Animal Kingdom and Pam and Sterling and Sterling went to go ride the Avatar Flight of Passage and Journey was too short. So I just I just held Journey because she was so warm and I was so cold. Plus she wanted to be held, but it it she warmed me up for sure. It was freezing. Yeah, so Caroline, in case, unless something weirds out, it's usually about the end of October that it starts to cool off enough to really be noticeable. Yeah, plan your outfits. <laughs> Wear shorts or leggings. Journey is sweet. She's a sweet girl. We're just going down the line, just so and so and so and that'll work too, Caroline.
Janie, when is yours? Mine's in April, too. Mine's in April too, and we are, we always go to Disney, you know, for my birthday. And sometimes it's just a nightmare. Oh, that's perfect, Sherry. Thank you for thinking of that and doing it. Mine's April seventh. This tool I'm working with that's so wonky that's driving me bananas is from BB Craft. I'm not saying they all are, but it's this one's a pain. It was a pain coming off the bolt. It was a pain cutting it, and now it's a pain sewing it. But I've gotten the ones, I've gotten some from Gibson International too that were just horrible. I think it's just about what they get in, you know, what they receive. But I'm telling you that that little cardboard piece really makes it, makes it, the little bolt makes it so much easier to store. Uh, it's like a medium. It's not super soft, but it's not like the stiff one like I like. Um, it's just, um, it's crinkly for some reason. Is that even a word? Crinkly? Crinkly? Is that a word? Crinkly? Hey, Alma. Now, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, please. If you're here and you have it, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It really does help. I really appreciate it. Yeah, BB. I, I hate to say this. I hate to say it out loud. Um, but BB Crafts tool is usually really soft. Um, that's just my opinion. That's just what I've noticed. I mean, everybody else has has an opinion. Everybody's got an opinion, you know. Um, but I, I can't stress to you how much easier it is to store it. What is tool shop? Is that a, hold on, is that a, um, a 
Oh, wow. How, um, how's your shipping? Does anybody know how their shipping is? Oh, is it, is it, is it like, um, okay, Sherry. Um, is it like, like Gifts International? Alma, not that I know of. It just depends on the manufacturer and what they recommend. If you have the PE, my PE 770 never required it. Now, on the multi needles, you have to. Whew, you have to oil those every time you use them, every every time before you use them. Um, but I don't know. It depends. I, I think it if you look in your owner's manual, it'll tell you. Um, the instruction manual. Um, just because I don't want to give you advice and it be the wrong advice and you ruin a machine. And you say, Danny said, I don't want to do that to you. <laughs> I would feel horrible for, oh, I would feel horrible for doing that. Or if you don't have your instruction manual, look it up on YouTube um, or just Google it. If you don't have your instruction manual, a lot of times they're online. Or you can call a brother, whatever dealer, um, you know, if it's a brother, you can call a brother dealer and ask them. I just don't know. I know my multi needles have to be done and my sewing machine has to be done often. I have a Juki TL 2010Q and it has to be done often. So, hey Marge. So, I do know that for a fact. I don't know about other stuff. But there's several avenues you have that you can um, you can look for Google your instruction manual, call a um, YouTube, call a brother dealer. You can go to brother. I think it's, I can't remember what the brother website is, but it'll tell you a dealer near you and a phone number you can call. Mm, I had to order parts for the machine because I broke apart trying to fix it. So I need parts to fix it, and then I need a part to fix the part I broke. Hey, Angela.
Yeah, me too. Um, if not, it's going to be... <laughs> It's two fifty to service it, and it's one hundred and fifty dollars for them to drive here. So at the very least, it's four hundred dollars without parts. That's before parts and stuff like that. So trying to avoid that. I think Terry and I are smart enough we can figure it out. Hey, Connie, how are you? So hopefully Terry and I are smart enough to put our brains together with Google and the instruction manual to figure it out. That's what we will be doing. Catching up, hold on. Oh, Kathleen, I wish you could too. Hey, Jolene. Is that a picture of a Frenchie? It is. Right, right there? That's a Frenchie. He's sitting on some of my favorite designers, like books. So <laughs> I got it at um, Hobby Lobby. Thank you, Grace, for that information. I really, really appreciate it. I'm going to have to go look into that for sure. Oh, good. You're doing well. Oh, I'm sorry, Connie. You know what I find helps me? And this is going to sound ridiculously stupid, but it helps me to go to, to look through my files or look through files for ideas that I have on on Etsy or wherever you I, I shop I shop everywhere. I don't just shop on Etsy, but I shop literally everywhere. Um and then I look at the samples I want to make and then I go to Joanne's for inspiration or I grab some fabric from there and then I get excited to come home and make it because I have new fabric. Plus I just like to shop. Plus, I just like to shop. But sometimes going to Joanne's and just looking like the calico, the keepsake calico, um, it's sometimes that's just inspiring enough. I really love creating new stuff. I've been doing that a lot lately. A lot. I listed like 70 new out new items the other day on Etsy. I think it was 70. Yeah, it was 70. I've been um, making samples for a month now, maybe a month and a half, maybe six weeks. And um, I haven't taken any photos of them. They've just been sitting in the extra bedroom with all the tutus. And um, I finally was like, you know what? I just have to bite the bullet and um, <laughs> and take the photos. And then I was like, oh. Then I had to list them all. Ugh. So anyways, I added a bunch of new stuff. And I'm still working on new stuff. Um. I should technically have the embroidery machine going, but to be honest with you, I'm I'm tired. I'm not sleepy, but I'm tired. Um, and um, 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 and I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, I'm too tired. I'm afraid I'm gonna make mistakes. So 
I just decide to stay away from it and just make tutus. It really should be going though, but I, I just don't want to. Hey, Joeline and Cynthia. Late night, late night. I have my website up. I do. It's sweetthreadsgifts.com. I don't have anything listed for sale yet because I'm still trying to get it completed to my liking. But it's up. And I'm kind of partial to it, but I, I really like it. I think it's pretty. Hey, Carolyn, how are you? I'm sorry, I don't mean to make you guys wiggle like that. That's a good question. 1131 at Danny's house. Whoop, whoop. I really should be asleep. Um, last night, my nephew had a 24-hour um, e EEG. Um, so I had my niece last night. And there I stayed the night at my, my sister's house with my mom and my niece. We had a girls' night, but that equals little. When I sleep with my niece, when we cuddle, she um, takes up like ninety percent of the bed, and I get like ten percent. And I get knees in the back and just stuff like that. Sometimes she sleeps sideways, so um, not much sleep was had last night. But having said that, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Truly wouldn't. Truly would not trade it for the world. I love my baby girl. But I'm tired. I should be asleep, but I can't sleep. So. Sales are down a lot on Etsy. It's not just me. It's everywhere. I'm very lucky because I have um, wholesalers, wholesale orders. So, you know, it's starting to pick up a little bit, but um, but it's still pretty slow. Still pretty slow. I'm usually not up this late. Wow, 38 people here. 38 friends.
Thank you, Grace. I tell you what, it's it's no joke. But the way I look at it is pretty soon she's going to be too old to snuggle. And um, she's going to be too old for all of that. So I, I get it while I can. Be right back. Had to turn a fan. Ooh, had to turn a fan on. Hey, Wendy. Wait a second. Hold on. Who's? Okay. I think mine be mine also might be too much caffeine. Speaking of, I just had to oil my um, sewing machine. Hi. Hey, Gail. I missed you somehow. I'm sorry. It's it's 1137 here, Gail. I understand. Good night, my friend. Thank you for coming by. Wow, there's 43 people here. Yay, for a late night. Who, who else is up and here because you can't sleep? Oh, I got you, Jolene. Okay, now I understand. Well, so far, I'm down to, I don't even know anymore. It just, like, it, they're just here, and I just got to go through them. Cynthia, are you leaving, too? Hope you have a good night. <laughs> Sherry, I just I just remembered something. You said you're moving, you're looking at houses in Lakeland. Look on the south side. That's where I am, on the south side.
Jolene, that's awesome. Awesome. Hey, is it Narel? 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 Diane, I hear you. Right now, I'm sure, I, like, I would bet money on the fact that Luke is in my spot on the bed just snoring. I'm betting she's right there in my spot. Right next to her dad. Sound asleep. Sound asleep. Down Wendy, are you the one that lives near me? I can't remember. I kind of remember a conversation about it, but not 100%. Do you live on the north side of Lakeland? Is that, am I remembering this correctly or am I going crazy? I could be going crazy. Well, thank you, Carolyn. It's, I cut four inches off it off too, so. Oh, Cynthia. Okay, I understand now. Sorry, it took a minute. <laughs> I guess I'm so tired. Well, thank you. I get a lot of comments when it's longer. A lot of compliments when it's longer. What I normally do is I grow it out and then cut it off and donate it. I thought so, Wendy. I thought that was you. I just couldn't remember. I live on the south side. No, you're fine. You're fine, Wendy. Autocorrect hates me on my phone, so don't feel bad. Don't feel bad at all. Do not feel bad. I messed that up big time. That was supposed to be different. Uh, uh. I sewed the wrong ribbon on this one. And the one before it. I hate it when I do silly stuff like that. I wonder if I can sew a big ribbon on top of it. I don't know if that, if I can do that or not. This looks awfully short. I'm just going to pretend that it's what I need. I mean, if it's, I think, maybe I just didn't cut another aqua. Maybe I need to cut off. Because this does not... I messed up. Hang on a second. I messed that up pretty good.
pretty darn good. I messed that up. That is absolutely infuriating when I do that. Like it, it makes me so mad at myself. So mad at myself. So mad at myself. I hate that. Good night, Caroline. Good night, Sherry. <laughs> Good night, you guys. Let me see. No, I just sewed the wrong... Um, It was supposed to be one and a half inch ribbon and I sewed seven eighths inch ribbon on it. I wonder if I can just, oh, my hair. Um, I wonder if I can just sew on top of it. I'm gonna redo it. I can't, I, I can't, I just feel too bad. I need, I'm just going to redo it. It is not worth it. It's not worth it. They, they paid money for it. They deserve the best. It's not their fault. I messed it up. I will redo it. Kathleen, people tell me that all the time, that I'm too hard on myself. I just get so irritated with myself. Like, I should have just known that I... Like, I knew it in my head, I just forgot. This is so irritating to me. I just get so irritated by it. All right.
Bye, Marge. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. Going with black. Hi, Lisa. This is the best kind of tool. It's like a little stiff. This is the best. I it mean, it's so easy to work with. Yay. Who's excited? Thank you guys for all the thumbs up. Thank you, Kathleen, for the reminder. Um, this one came from Gibson International. Mandy, will you be a moderator? I'm going to add you. Thank you. All of my moderators have gone to sleep. Liz is in the house. Hi. Liz is in the house. Mandy's in the house. Everybody's in the house. my gosh I'm sorry Manny was it in the beginning of the shirt or was it like me and it's like the last step like that ay 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 that drives me bananas <laughs> Lots of tool. We're making tutus tonight. Got to finish up a wholesale order, and then I've got three to do for Etsy that are due to go out on Friday. I'm going to go ahead and get them done and get them out. Makes me feel a little more sane if I don't have orders piled up. Oh, I love this tool. This is the best tool. No, Mandy. 
I am so sorry. That is the worst. Do you need any shirts? I've got a whole bunch that I'm trying to get rid of. If anybody needs any, I'm selling them for for five dollars a piece. They're all AJ blanks, um, blanks boutique and um, ARB blanks. It's um, girl sizes 8, 10, I'm sorry, 8, 10, 12, and 14, and boys sizes 6, 8, 10, 6, 8, and 10. So if you guys are in need of it, let me know. I just, there's nothing wrong with them or anything. I'm just doing something different with my shop now. So. So, you yeah, know. Yeah, I, I'm keeping the smaller sizes. Because um, that's what I'm doing now. But I need, um, I've got the bigger sizes available for $5 a piece instead of the $650 or $680 or whatever they are now. So if you guys need any, let me know. I am doing shirts. I'm just doing, I'm just bringing down my size collection. Um. Because I go, I have all the way from like, so shirts, I have 12, 18, 2T, all the way to 14 for girls. Same thing for boys, all the way to size 12 for 10 for boys. And then I have them, all of those in black and all of those in long sleeve as well. So I'm just, I'm just kind of shifting my shop around. Um, I went legit. <laughs> so no license, anything, no character, anything. Um, so in doing that, I just, I just have a different desire for it to be a little different. It's originally what I had said in my mind when I first opened my store, but Scooby-Doo became so popular and so many of them were boys when I was doing. Man, that sounded weird. Um, so now I'm going back to what I really I've always wanted to do. I just felt like because Scooby-Doo was so popular, I just needed to keep I just needed to keep going with it, and it was all boys, so I was like, okay, I'll just offer boy stuff, too. And it's just not something that's made me very happy. Um, I, have a, I have a different, I've always wanted something different for the shop. So I'm just moving on with it and making it happen. So and that doesn't include, unfortunately, doesn't include the larger sizes for boys or girls. to change the stinking bobbin. Oh, that's kind of cool, Cap. Connie. Can't even talk. heard of a lot of people closing up their Etsy shop. Have you guys heard that? Heard of people doing that? I've seen a lot of Etsy shops close recently. And I just, I feel bad. I feel bad getting orders when other people aren't.
Oh, Carolyn, why are you going to close yours? I think gas being so high. And but that's just a guess. I mean, I, I don't know. Etsy takes a lot of money, too. I mean, they take part, of, they charge you on shipping, like not just the price for shipping, but you also pay a percentage to Etsy for your shipping. They, they just, I don't know. They take 6.5%. They take a quarter plus plus three percent for transaction fees. They take 6.5% off the top for sales for their fees. Processing fees are high. Um, it, it's just you know it all adds up after a bit, and you're just sometimes I'm just like, like what am I doing? You know, you close one of yours, Karen. You getting ready to open yours, Wendy? Yeah, I'm telling you. Do you guys have your own websites? Like Shopify or something along those lines? Daddy, yeah, that's who I use. Connie, that's what I'm doing for some. I'm doing some um, custom tutus. It's exciting. I'm so excited for you, Connie. Miss something somewhere. Oh, never mind. I figured it out. I guess I forgot a oh, this will work. I hope I don't bump you guys too far. I did bump you, I'm sorry. I'm gonna put my hair up, man. It's getting, it's getting warm up here. Honey, it's okay to be in a funk, man. I was in a funk for months. When I left YouTube for a little while, I was in a serious funk. You'll get your mojo back, girlfriend.
You'll get it back. Wow, there's 37 people here. Maybe this is a good time of night to do a live. I don't know. Connie, do you have my cell phone number? I know we were on the thing together. I just don't know if you still have it or not. I knew what you meant. I knew you didn't mama it. <laughs> I knew you'd make it. <laughs> I understood what you were saying. Bulls, I love pit bulls. They're my one of my favorites. They are the most un misunderstood breed of dog. I'm telling you right now. You know I love pit bulls because Luca is a pity. She's my itty bitty pity. I have one. She's more more than enough for me. <laughs> she's she's a. She's a mess. She's a handful, my Lulu. She really is. She's a she's a mess. She's a hot mess. But I love her. She's my baby. I think they're they're pretty fabulous personally there's bad dogs in every breed my mom and dad had a severely aggressive black lab and she was from the same litter my layla was and there wasn't an aggressive bone in my layla's body but their dog good lord they are the big babies. A lot of people don't. My cousin stayed here when my grandmother died a few years ago. My cousin who lives in Texas came and stayed here. And she, she's like, 
oh, I didn't realize you had a pit bull. Maybe I need to go to a, a hotel. Like, go to a hotel. Go on. Yeah, I mean, the, there are bad dogs in every breed, y'all. Any dog could be a bad dog. I firmly believe that. For all the all the years I have, I've had dealing with dogs, all the experience I have, no breed is infallible. We've had aggressive golden retrievers. We had a very aggressive golden doodle. You know, they just, no breed is infallible for aggression. There are some that are more prone to it, but there is no breed that, that you can say not a single dog in that, in that breed is, is aggressive. You can't, you can't say that. Luca barks nonstop. Non-stop. Yep. Great Danes can be super snippy too, though. Pitties are the best, man. I love my little Pibble. I wouldn't trade her for the world. She's a pocket pit. You guys have seen how small she is. I call her the itty bitty pity. Some of the best dogs we had come through were, were pit bulls. The only dog, and I'm telling you, this is not a stereotype because... The I've had 13 years experience with all breeds. The only dog that we had that would come in and we had a constant problem with, we didn't have a single one that came in that we didn't have a problem with, um, were Rottweilers. And I don't dislike the breed. I don't have anything against it. I think that there are some amazing Rottweilers out there, but I will tell you from experience, from 13 years experience, we never had one that wasn't aggressive to us or aggressive to other dogs, like frightfully so. And Cane Corsos, Cane Corsos, same thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about those two breeds. I don't know, but they, it's just in 13 years, we never had a Cane or a Roddy do well. And I don't know why. It bothered me for years why we couldn't. Cane Corsos, like we have, um, we had one that was tall enough when he stood up to put his head, shoulder, or put his paws on my head, and he would grab my ponytail and just shake me. I mean, just shake me until I was dizzy. And um, he was a good puppy, but he hit like a year, 
and she didn't have them neutered because she was going to um, breed them. And he literally would grab my ears and like shake my head by my ears. And when he grabbed my hair and shook me like a rag doll, that was the last time he was allowed back. I had to tell her that we couldn't take him anymore. Um, I'm not, I, I don't want it to happen to me. I didn't want it to happen to my girls, but he, he literally would, he grabbed my ponytail and I, I shook like a rag doll, like an absolute rag doll. Yeah. And have you guys ever heard of a King Shepherd? Hey, Lisa. A King Shepherd is just a huge, bred to be huge, big bone Rottweiler. They're actually called King Shepherds and they are, they cost a fortune um, to get them from a breeder. Um, and we had problems with some of them, not all of them, but some of them were pretty aggressive. They were pretty aggressive. Uh, of course we're still on. I don't have any plans to, I mean, it's 12, 17 and I'm still going strong. I only have one, one more here. Well, actually, that's not true. Hehe. <laughs> LOL. Just kidding. Sorry, I didn't mean to shake you guys. I'm glad we're still on too. I'm just trying to get through all these tutus and then I have to string them all. That's going to be a chore. Not even tired. I mean, I'm, no, take it back. I'm extremely tired. I'm just not sleepy. I don't know where that is, Lisa. Hutchison Island? I've never... It's probably northern Florida, like towards like Jacksonville, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I really should get my embroidery machine going. Oh, bye, Carolyn. See you soon. Fort Pierce. Oh, okay. So it's down near um, 
Okeechobee and uh, West Palm. Is that Fort? Is that Fort Pierce? I really should have a shirt on the embroidery machine, the one that's working. Mandy, you're so crazy. Oh, Beth, I'm sorry. Go get some sleep. Yeah, I have a machine down. I'm waiting on parts for it. I was telling everybody because, and then I have to get another more parts than I originally had to get because I broke a part trying to fix it. So, what you gonna do? Right now, it's a very expensive paperweight. Yeah, it's, um, which is why I really should have it going right now, but I just don't want to stand. I, this is horrible. I'm too tired. I make silly mistakes when I'm this tired. And I just don't want to do it. The last time I worked this tired, I put a needle through my finger. And I, I got it out. Um, I had to yank it out with pliers. It was stuck in my, my, my middle finger right in the cuticle when I yanked it out with pliers. Fun times. Yes, it's under warranty, but it's, I, I broke it, and I was honest with them. I believe it's best to be honest, so. I, I could have fibbed, but I just didn't, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to tell them the truth. I probably could have gotten away with it, but I just didn't want to. Hey. My ribbon, my ribbon mess right there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it was bad. Nope, didn't hit a nerve. Just hit my cuticle. Cut my cuticle in half.
Silicone spatula. That's a good idea, Connie. And I did it when I was tired. I mean, it's just, you know. Yeah, I just feel better telling the truth. I really do. I don't, um, I don't know. Maybe it's silly of me, but I just feel better when I tell the truth. It will. Karma will get you. Hi, Kathleen. Thank you so much. As always, thank you. Yeah, I just, I just feel it's, I feel it's right just to tell the truth. I mean, I may be silly, but I just feel like it's better to tell the truth and and do the right thing. I missed it. What is the right thing? Telling the truth um, with my machine because it's not covered under warranty because I actually broke it. Um, and I told them that I told them the truth. I probably could have fibbed and gotten it covered, but it, it just didn't seem like the right thing to do. I, I just feel like telling the truth is the right thing to do. You know, what if they got in there or something and they could tell that it was me and I lied? I, I don't know. I don't like, I don't like it. I like just doing the right thing. That's all. Just, just trying to do the right thing. Who wants to come help me? I have got to, I, I am down to, I've, cause I've, Put it off for so long. I have very little fabric left that has heat and bond on it. So what I need to do is go through all of my fabric and grab pieces of it and heat and bond it. Does anybody want to come help me? Anybody, anybody. Well, come on, Wendy, let's do this. I have to warn you though, it's a lot of fabric and I just got more. <gasps> did I tell you guys, did you guys see, um, did you guys see in the VIP group that I found the fabric that, that oil, um, hold on. I found it. I found more. I am so excited. I finally found it. It was in with the knits and it's not knit. It's cotton. Found it at Joann's. I was looking for knit fabric um, for samples and I was like, oh, 
that's mine. I bought the whole bolt. Everything that, everything that the they had, I bought the. I bought everything they had. I could have, if I didn't think it'd kill me, I would have done a backflip. Pretty sure I'd die though. Pretty sure I would die. I might do a fabric haul video vlog. It's too much. It's too much. No, Cynthia, thank you so much. I, I got five yards. <laughs> and I use it. I use one like, like maybe that big every time. So <laughs> Whew, I'm so glad I found it, though. You don't even know. I'm so excited to try new stuff, but I've got to heat and bond everything first. Oh. It gets so hot up here with the heat press on. It gets so hot. Dude, Diana, same thing happened to us. Not because of a storm, because we need a new roof. And I was like, heck no, buddy boy. Heck no, buddy boy. Oh, I know, Jolene. I am busy all this week. Um, I've got some stuff going on with my family and, um, I'm helping my friend Kristen throw her stuff together. So maybe next week, maybe next week, I have a lot of it to do. It's kind of, um, overwhelming <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, you don't want to mess with insurance fraud. I mean, you just, I mean, that's that's a felony. Like, that's prison time. And that's not like your county jail. That's prison. You don't, you don't want to do that. I don't know about you guys, but I would not survive in prison. They don't have coffee and stuff. Puppies. Embroidery machines. My husband, my shoes, they don't have any of that. <laughs> you tell I'm tired. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I don't look good in stripes either. Thank you, Bon Bon. Welcome. I didn't say hi to you. I'm sorry. I apologize. Good. That's, I mean, that's part of why everything is so expensive because of crap like that. I need to string these tutus. I don't even know how many I have anymore. So many people in Texas.
Oh, goodness. You guys are all close together. I'm not going to jail for thousands of dollars. <laughs> no, thank you. Nope. Danny doesn't look good in stripes. Danny doesn't do good without her family and husband. Danny would miss her puppy. <laughs> Danny would miss Starbucks. No, no. We cannot do this. I guess I could start. You guys are so funny. I need to figure out. I already forgot what sizes these all are. Who's on the West Coast right now? I know there's some people in Texas, but who's on the West Coast? Is anybody on the West Coast? Because it's 1230 here. On the West Coast. starting to get really sleepy. <laughs> My husband lived in Los Angeles. He grew up in LA. He um, grew up in Los Angeles. Moved here when we got married. Be right back. You guys want to see this? This is crazy. What did I miss? Well, let me show you guys this. You see all that? Those are all tutus in the making. And I still have to sew all of that in that. So I'm going to string them right here with you guys. Okay. 
I gotta move my sewing machine. <laughs> That's the sewing machine. <laughs> Oh, that was a big old mess, but we're fixing to make um, make some tutus out of it and make it pretty. How's that sound? Gonna make it pretty. Don't worry, I'll show you guys all of it when I'm done. I'm just gonna sit here, talk to you guys, read your comments, string some tutus. What do you guys think of that? So I think here, I think I have, I think there's 12 on the floor that are done like, you know, just the, just sewn. Got one there. And six over there that I still have to do. Well, thank you, Bon Bon. I'm going to do a room tour as soon as I get a chance. Thank you. Thank you. I um, I worked really hard. I um, waited for this room for a very long time. Um, and I am in love with it. It's mine all mine. Mine all mine. Yeah, it's a lot of tool, and I've sewn them all. That took a while. Oh, my gosh. I would love to come organize your room. I love organizing sewing rooms. I don't know why, but I love organizing sewing rooms. Yeah, I need to do a fabric haul, um, but I need to do a room tour. I just, it just needs to look a little bit neater in here. It's awful right now. Oh, dude, I would in a heartbeat, Lisa. In a heartbeat. Um, I have never, Mandy, I've never done a Christmas in July. Wanted to, but I've never done it. Connie, I'll come do it. I love doing it. I don't like organizing other spaces, but I love organizing sewing rooms. I would in a heartbeat. We can work with limited space. I I had very, when I first started, I had a eight by six room. So I've not always had this room. And it took probably eight years to set it up like this. Um, not in this house, um, in my other house. Wait a minute, no. I'm not right. It's not right. It's like five years. Five years. Um, to get all the furniture I wanted. Because, you know, you. I don't know about you guys, but 
I freaked out when I saw how much everything cost at Ikea. So we did it piece by piece. Plus, it's really um, overwhelming to have to put all that stuff together all at once. So, you know, it just it took a while to get it. It wasn't a one time thing and it wasn't. I've had four sewing rooms in, in total. This one is the best. This one works the best. It's, um, but it, it, it didn't come fast or easy. Here's one. No, I, well, I've moved rooms. I moved upstairs. So kind of, but I haven't moved like houses. <laughs> Diane. <laughs> it's going to be a B2 suit. Yes. And a few other things, but mostly B. It's so floofy. I like it when they're floofy. I like it when they're floofy. You're good, Wendy. <laughs> That's right, Karen. I do too. Except these, I used to be able to do it a lot easier, but these machines are heavy and the stands are heavy. Like it's a lot of weight. So moving them is not my most favorite thing in the world. But I've thought about reorganizing. Every time I mention it, my husband's like, because he has to help. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and string all these tutus and talk to you guys. Terry's going to come up here and go, have you slept yet? Sure haven't. Sure haven't. <clears throat> What do, you, what do you mean, Cynthia? I'm, I'm just confused. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to not answer your question. I just don't know what you're asking because it might be because I'm tired. Oh, earrings. I thought it <laughs> I thought it said earnings. I was like, I don't understand. <laughs> Would help if I read it right, wouldn't it? <laughs> Would help if I read it correctly.
No, it was just me. I, I thought it said earnings and I couldn't figure it out because I'm, I am tired. <laughs> That's a good idea, Cynthia. Cuticle scissors. That's a really good idea. Oops, one more. Forgot the yellow. I think it is, Connie. I think it is. I think I'm going sleepy eyed. Is this one? That's a good idea. Very good idea. Where did I learn to make tutus? Pam. I learned to make them from Pam. Heidi, I was just thinking about you. I found the fabric. About five yards, about all they had. Found it at Joann's. I was looking for knit fabric, um, white knit fabric for my samples, and it was just kind of hiding there. I was like, "Snap! I'm gonna buy it all. I bought every last bit of it. Every last bit of it I bought." purplish one? Are you talking to me? I'm confused. I'm I'm confused. Might be the tiredness. Oh, it's buried right now. Um, can I show it to you in a little bit when I get all these tutus strung? <laughs> it's called like the Casa Collection or something like that. I can't remember. Somebody posted it and I looked for it and they they had it online, but it, it was out of stock everywhere. So I couldn't order it. Um, but I found it. It was like Casa, the Casa Collection or something. Something along those lines, I honestly can't remember now. No, you're fine. It's purple um, and it's got, um, it's like a lavender color and it's got almost like an oil slick um, pinks and purples and it's really pretty. Just give, I got it, it's covered in tutus right now or, or pieces of tutus. 
They're not tutus yet. They need to be strong. It was so pretty. I'll show you. I just, it's literally buried beneath tutu makings. I will get it as soon as I'm done stringing. Here's another one. So that's number three. Y'all are all a bunch of night owls, huh? Very few people that can't sleep. Insomniacs, definitely. Hello. How are you? I'm normally sound asleep like well before now, but that's good, Heidi. That's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm going to be up all night. <laughs> like, I just, I just know it. I don't know why I'm exhausted. I just cannot fall asleep. Two, five, six. Number six. You know, Chris, you know who does amazing ones, amazing diamond paintings? It's Kathleen. She's not here right now. Kathleen, it says Kathleen V on her name. Um, she, they're just gorgeous. Here's this one.
What time do you guys normally go to sleep? Yeah, tomorrow's going to be rough. But we got this two hours ago. Girl, I'm usually asleep by like 9.30. This is, this is rough for me. This is rough for me. Yes, she was here earlier. She lives in Trinidad. Um, she was the one that got stuck in South Florida when COVID hit because they wouldn't let her back in her country. Do you guys, I don't know if any of you guys remember that or not, but she couldn't, she couldn't get home because her, her, her country closed the borders because of COVID and she was stuck. She couldn't get home. I don't remember. I don't know if you guys remember that or not. She was stuck in Florida for a long time. She just wanted to go home. I'm surprised there's so many people still here. Insomniacs like me, huh? And like y'all. Well, obviously y'all. Unless you're in a different time zone. Like Karen, where it's like... Hello. Yeah, she was stuck here for forever. I felt so bad. She just wanted to go home so bad. It's 104 here. We've been doing this for two hours and 40 minutes. There's Karen. Yep, this is for a circus toot. To a toe. So two twos, I don't even remember now. I've made one, two, three, four. This is my fifth one I'm stringing up. Um, I don't even know, a, a, quite a few. Yeah, she couldn't do anything. She was just stuck here with her sister. I felt so bad for her. She's a really great human. She has a really big heart. Just super sweet person. Here's one. Doo, 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 doo.
There's a ton of them. I don't even remember anymore. And they're all different. That's the <laughs> that's the interesting part about it. When I was cutting them, I was like, I can't cut any. Like, I can only cut it. A little bits here and there. I can't go through and cut a ton. Right? Oh, a popcorn design. That's a good idea. Is everybody here giving it a thumbs up? I would really appreciate it. I'm pretty sure you guys all have, but just in case, if you guys could give it a thumbs up, it really does help. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Cynthia. Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. I honestly think the hardest part of a ribbon trim to me is the cutting out. The cutting the tool. That's the hardest part for me. Burnt cloths, I don't know. Um, I used to charge twelve fifty for them at um, craft fairs when I had the baby shop still. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Karen. Well, that's nice. Heidi, that's really nice. Um, are you doing... Um, well, it just depends on where you are. I, I did not do them different prices. I set the price at the Minky price and just left because a lot of people don't understand that different fabrics cost different amounts. So I just did the Minky price for both and they sold. I always do time and material times two. And that's always been... That's always worked for me. I don't know if that helps or not. I hope it helps. Here's one. The color looks really off on my monitor. I didn't embroider them. That was that was just my price without embroidery. That was my price with no embroidery.
think I messed this up too. Shoot, sugar plums. What did I do wrong here? messed up again guys um so this is a bodkin um i'll show you let me attach it to a tool let me attach it to an elastic and i'll show you Hey, Angela. Let's see what I've missed all sorts of stuff here. Hold on. Yeah, I that's about right, Connie. That's that's what I would. That's what I would do it. I would do no embroidery to take to an event. That's just me. Yeah, Heidi, I did see that and it's going up. Pirate ship is the best way to ship and then you just copy and paste the um, tracking number into Etsy. Yeah, postage is going up. Etsy's fees are going up. I mean, it's just... It's a mess, y'all. I didn't cut enough tool. Hi. Nope, you are not the only one. So rocking the style by Heather. Heather, you are not the only one. <laughs> there are 36 of us up and up and running. I did not cut enough red. Did I leave some over there? Hopefully. Nope. Hang on a second. Let me go. Let me go check something real quick. Hang on. I'll be right back. Did not cut enough red. I need three more reds. Definitely missing some red. Dang it. 
Dang it. All right, let me show you how this works, this bodkin. So you just take your elastic and you the bodkin looks like this. You take this this side and clip it like that. And then this side of the elastic, I put a large safety pin in to keep it from sliding off. And then you feed your channel, you feed this through your channel and it's just, it's longer than a safety pin. It's so much easier, so much easier. So much easier, you guys. If I can save you some time and some energy and some frustration, I will. And this is this is a good way to do that. It it makes it a lot easier, a whole lot easier. I got it on Amazon. Just type in um, Bodkin. Let me see if there's a name on it. I think it's by D R I T Z or Z T. I don't know how to pronounce it. D R I Z T. Driz Driz it Driz Driz Drizzits? I know it's not Drizz. Is it Drizzit? How do you pronounce that? That's going to drive me nuts. So the elastic length is cut differently for each one. For each size is a different measurement. You're welcome, Cynthia. And I'll be honest with you guys up front, I don't give my measurements out because... It's a combination of several put together and I don't have permission from two people to give out measurements that I that they were kind enough to share with me. Um, so I just I, I feel bad like giving their stuff away. I don't know if that makes sense or not. I've taken it and tweaked it to fit what I like. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to give out any measurements because they weren't mine to begin with. And um, I. I don't feel right giving somebody else's measurements out. I hope that that makes sense. Thank you, Mandy. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's, that's, is that a 50? Yep, that's it. I'll link it in my next vlog as well. Really? I never thought of that, Connie. Makes sense. I just had never thought of it. I bet it does. I'm going to start doing that. No, you're fine, Bon Bon. The, I was just explaining why, because I don't, I don't want to make them angry because they worked really hard for it. And at the same time, I don't want you guys to feel like I'm trying to keep something from you or that I'm angry about it because I'm not. I just, it's just, it's kind of like a secret, not a secret, but it's kind of like when somebody tells you something in confidence, you know, it was kind of like that. And I just, um, I don't want to break confidence, confidence. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm too tired. I just don't want, I don't want to make anybody angry with me. And they probably, honestly, they probably wouldn't be mad at me. But I just, I don't want to abuse that. Does that make sense? Don't apologize. I wasn't trying to be mean, I promise. I was just trying to explain it. And I'm, I think I'm tired and I'm not really explaining it correctly. Oh, that's a good idea, Chris. I think I got this for like $3.99. A 
Okay, good. Hope you're not offended. <laughs> Hope you guys aren't offended by that. It's just not, it's just, I don't know. It's just not my place. I don't feel. If they were my measurements and I came up with them all by myself and stuff like that, I would absolutely share. It's a great item. I mean, I love it. I use it all the time. I can't remember which all the ones I'm supposed to make. I'm so lost. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm so tired. All right. So where? Hi, Courtney. Thank you so much, Courtney. That, thank you. That's very sweet of you. I really appreciate it. Like I said, all you do is you take this in and you clip it. And then you take this end and you slide the really big safety pin through it. And then you just What's it called? Thread? Threaded? I'm getting really tired. This is a monster stack of tutus, you guys. Monster stack. Monster stack of tutus. I'm going to show it to you when I get done. Except there's... There's, <laughs> there's some here I don't know what to do. I don't remember the color combinations. Thread it through the casing. No, I didn't round it. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Let me do that right now.
Let me try that right now. String it. String it. That's what I was trying to think of. String. So excited. I figured that out. All right. Rounded elastic. Let's see if Connie, I'm sure she's right. Let's just take a looky-loo and see how much easier it is. And all of you guys are going to be cutting your corners off your elastic when you when you <laughs> thread or string your tutus. Let's see. All right. Well, I'll be darned. Look at that. Connie, look at you. Look at you. Thank you so much. I apologize. I'm not trying to be greedy and I'm not trying to be secretive. I just, they were given to me in confidence and I, I just don't want to betray that confidence. You know what I mean? I got a lot of my, I did get some measurements from Cheryl and family, Cheryl and fam. And I can tell you that because she lists them on all of her tutu tutorials. Um, but I had another two people give me more uh, specific instructions and I just adapted it from all three of them, but I just, I don't want to betray confidences. I try to do the right thing and I just feel that that's the right thing. You know what I mean? I just feel bad. Well, thank you, Lisa. If they were mine, if I had made them up, I would tell you in a heartbeat. Okay. Yeah. Angela was not one of the ones that, that, um, gave me information. So I don't, I don't know. May she may, um, she probably does if Mandy saw it. Um, I don't know. I know it's been a very long time since she made tutus. So I don't know if she still has the information up or not. Man, this is so much easier. Thanks, Connie. Oh, Angela is making tutus again? I didn't realize that. I talked to her today. I didn't realize it. You're fine, Heidi. You're fine. I just didn't know that she was that she had made tutus again. around this one. Dang it. Let me, as soon as I get this first one, let me do it now. Oh, you got yours from, from Pam. Yeah. Pam's got a lot of really good videos. 
Get some sleep, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, I have a Juki. I'm the one that got Pam started on Jukies. I can teach Pam. That's an interesting twist. She always teaches me. Oh, that's so much easier. Look at that. Woo. It's going so much faster. So much faster. Uh, bon Bon, I have the Juki TL2010Q. And I've had it since 2000 and... Fourteen or fifteen? I can't remember if it's fourteen or fifteen. And knock on—I'm scared to say it—but I've only ever had to have it serviced, cleaned, that kind of thing. I—I I have got. I did go through a period where I—I I don't know what I did to it, um, but it was able to be fixed. Um, where it was just shredding bobbin cases like crazy. I love it. I was the one that got Pam started on it. She, um, the first time they came down to stay with us, I showed it to her and she was like, man, I got to get one. So she finally got one. She saved her money and finally got one. I can't believe y'all are still up with me. <clears throat> We've been going for three hours. That's craziness. I really should try to get some sleep. All right, last one. And I'll show you guys. There we go. Last one. Yep, that's where I got mine too. I got mine from Pam and I got mine from Cheryl and Pam. And I can say Cheryl and Pam because hers are always listed. There's all the tutus. And then there's one over there. What do you think? I think it's a lot of tutus, y'all. Guys, I'm scared y'all are going to fall. And I made them all with you guys. Now I just got to close them up. Thanks, guys. Now you see why I don't sleep very often? Starting to make sense, huh?
my eyes are so tired. I'm having trouble. Um, I'm having trouble threading my sewing machine. No, I don't usually do lives this often, but this is fun. I mean, I don't normally do lives this late. I do lives. I try to do two a week. I try to do two lives a week and put out two vlogs a week. So I fail a lot of the time, but I do try my best. I do try my very best. Sometimes my life is just really boring. You gotta do a de fluff. Um, I put a t-shirt with them. I got I I literally just loaded like 70 new listings, and I've probably got another 25, maybe 20 more to load up that I'm doing with tutus. So there's one. Super floof. Super floofy. Well, thank you. That is so sweet of you to say. Because sometimes I feel like, like I'm not contributing to the community sometimes with my vlogs and stuff. Sometimes I feel like I'm just not doing the right thing. Like I'm not contributing. So it, thank you for telling me that because that makes me feel better. There's another one. Oh, well, thank you, Heidi. That means a lot. I take you guys along when I work too. You guys come with me to work. You got it doesn't I know it's gonna sound weird because you guys can't like like physically talk to me like I talk to you guys. You guys type in the chat, but you guys keep me company and keep me sane. I like working with you guys. I really do enjoy working with you guys and talking with you guys and stuff while I'm working. Oh, well, thank you. That makes me feel so good. Another one. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. I've been working on these in my head for a very long time. And Etsy slowed down enough 
to where I can I can play. Here's another one. I've got extra ones that I've sewn that I don't know what they go to. I don't know what they go to, guys. It'll probably make sense in the morning after I get a little hope after I hopefully hopefully get a little bit of sleep. But at this point in time, it's 1:45 and uh, I'm wide awake. I messed this up pretty good. up. You guys catch on to that? There we go. Fixed it. are getting quiet. Is anybody else getting tired? <laughs> Another one. Kind of awake. <laughs> Me too, sister. No time to get tired, that's for sure. Good night. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic night. Was that black, pink, and gold? No, it was black, pink, and yellow. 
no gold, just plain old yellow. Just plain old yellow. And it, the on my end, it, on my computer screen, it looks a little, the colors look off. I don't know if they look off on yours. Back to school stuff is starting to, people are starting to favorite and put it in their carts. So if you guys don't have your back to school stuff up yet, or you still have to make it for samples, probably should hop on that. I'm not trying to tell you what to do in any way, shape or form, but if they're already starting to sell and starting to be favorited and added to carts, you guys really need to think about it. You gotta stay a few seasons ahead. There's another one. It's just pink and green. Only two more left. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Last one. Oh. Good night, Mandy. Thank you for being my mod. I appreciate it. Hope you have a great night. And there we go. All of them are done. Well, the majority of them are done. All right, guys, I'm going to try to hit the bed. It's 1, 1.52. We've been doing this for three and a half hours. I really appreciate all of you guys that came in and stayed with me for so long. I just got to get some sleep. <laughs> My eyes don't want to open the rest of the way anymore. <laughs> I 
hope you guys have a fantastic night. And like I said, I truly hope you guys know how much, how much I appreciate all the support and how much it means to me that you guys, it means a lot. I just want you guys to know that and how appreciate, how much I appreciate you guys. Like, I, I just want you guys to know that. I hope you know that. Good night, you guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Bye.